welcome back to my channel welcome back to today's video i've been doing so much online shopping and looking at like trends for like high street affordable style for you guys here on youtube and on my instagram and my tiktok because i've been doing loads and loads of styling videos and i want to keep that up and keep giving you guys inspiration and ideas for things to put in your wardrobe at the same time i've been thinking about what i want to buy for my wardrobe the things that i want to be wearing this season so i thought actually it'd be perfect timing to do a video for you guys just kind of letting you know my take on autumn winter trends for this year, the things that I plan to add in my wardrobe and like I suppose the trends that I'm gonna be incorporating into my wardrobe and the trends that are just not for me. So I thought we could do a quick run through, um, share with you some big autumn winter trends for this year and let you know whether I'm going to wear it or tear it. So I'll try and find some similar items and I'm gonna also add my autumn wish list into the description so you can see like things that I've already got my eye on and things that I'm wanting to buy. I hope you enjoy it and let's get into the trends for this year. Okay, so first trend that I'm absolutely loving for autumn is this white, plain white tank that's coming back. I feel like it's taking me back to my I'd say maybe like secondary school years or maybe like when I was 16, 17, the like the outfit to wear on a night out was like a white tank and a super low waist denim skirt. I lived in it. So it's kind of a little bit like nostalgic for me, but this white tank trend, I'm absolutely loving. I've been wearing it a lot more, um, like things with my arms out, which I never used to, but because I've been doing more exercise and things, I'm a little bit more comfortable with my arms being on show. I think it's so such an easy thing to add into your wardrobe, like a white tank, could, it's just gonna go with so many things that, I know I've got in my wardrobe and you guys probably have as well. So all like the wide loose leg trousers that are everywhere, the straight leg jeans, joggers, like it's such an easy outfit to team with things that are probably already in your wardrobe. So for me, the white tank is an absolute hit. I have put a few in the description that I thought looked really, really good. And I definitely am gonna wear mine with jeans, cargo pants, joggers and some wide like tailored trousers for a little bit more of a smart casual look. So for the white tank, definitely wear it. The second trend that I'm seeing coming around a lot is like these big like bomber jackets or like flight jackets and like a real oversized look. Now for me a bomber jacket, do you know what, it's never been my thing and for some reason it's just not something that suits me. I always see them on other people and I found some images of ways that you can style this that I love this, I love these outfits but for me it just never suits me and I just don't feel like it's my style. So personally, tear it, but on other people, wear it. The next trend that I'm sure you've seen everywhere is like these corset tops like cinched in waist that seem to be absolutely everywhere. From things like long sleeve tops that have like a corset fit to it, to corset tops for nights out. The thing that I love about this trend is a lot of the corset tops and dresses are teamed with a square neckline. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know how much I love a square neckline. It's super flattering on my figure because I've kind of got broad shoulders. It kind of like evens it out. So for me, I love this trend. I plan to incorporate these looks into occasion dresses coming up to the party season. And I'll also be wearing like some corsety tops, maybe with some wide leg jeans and heels for nights out, for like date night and things like that. I love this trend. I think it is so girly, so feminine. It can be super sexy, but also still look really nice and classy. So for me, absolutely wear it. Oversized knits are a huge trend for autumn winter 22. I could not be happier. I am obsessed, have always been obsessed. I love wearing oversized knits. In autumn and in winter, oversized knits are my absolute go-to and they are everywhere at the minute. 
all over the high street go two sizes up get them huge oversized i love the way that there's lots of like unique designs coming out on knitwear now a lot of chunky knitwear knitwear with tassel if we can wear it oversized large very extra i am all here for it so i will 100 percent be adding oversized knits into my wardrobe for autumn i tend to wear oversized knits with cute little skirts and boots skinny jeans i really like leather leggings and boots like so I like to take a trend like that and then make it super wearable by adding it with just like things that are already in my wardrobe. One of my favorite trends for this year, oversized knits is an absolute must have for me. The next trend, Y2K, kind of meets like clueless vibes. So think like 2000s fashion, but think like the preppy skirts and the mini skirts and the like kind of preppy looks. So, I like this trend if it is done in a little bit more of a mature way because then I, I'm 37 I remember Y2K when it was actually the year 2000 so for me it kind of feels a little bit done already and it kind of feels a little bit young for me but saying that I like the way that we can kind of incorporate some bits into a more classic wardrobe so all like the tweed and the mini skirts and the cute little sweaters like I am all here for that so it's kind of a maybe when it comes to this trend mini skirts cute blazers girly details yes anything to two 2000s is a no When it comes to blazers, everybody loves a blazer, but this year it is all about the big shoulder pads, that big like 80s look. For me, shoulder pads are not my friend. My shoulders are too broad for them and they make me look a little bit top heavy. So I won't be wearing these big wide shoulder pads. And to be honest, I never really see anyone and think, wow, that looks amazing. Whenever I see big, Square shoulder pads I just think 80s fashion um, so for me this is definitely definitely not going anywhere near my wardrobe blazers yes but not with the big shoulder pads it's an absolute massive thumbs down from me so this trend at 37 could be a little bit scary so everything's sheer we're showing more skin it's kind of that like kind of 90s waif model vibes where they're wearing all the see-through like dresses with their nips out and stuff for me I'm gonna have to do it in a little bit more simple way so there could be sheer items being added into my wardrobe but they're gonna have to be layered up with other things um, for younger people I think it's gorgeous I think it's so sexy if I was 20 and I was going on holiday and going out I would 100% be wearing this but I think for me it just feels a little bit too revealing a little bit too young and not something I would be comfortable wearing but saying that there is still ways that you can add like the sheer look into your wardrobe which is, so I've linked some ideas below <laughs> This next trend, faux leather, is one that I am 100% here for. I love teaming faux leather with different textures in winter. So like oversized knits, big soft knitwear, slouchy sweatshirts, mixing all those textures. And I feel like leather is such an essential, like faux leather like that is such an essential for an autumn winter capsule wardrobe. It goes with so many different things. If I was like working in an office, I would be all here for like the the leather midi skirts and I do like the leather dresses as well so it's a maybe for me on this one I have linked some options down below for leather dresses leather skirts and some leathers that are like a little bit more wearable for every day uh, but for me it's got to be quite a muted leather and quite a simple piece so I'm not going to be going all out for leather dresses but I will be adding some more leather leggings and some cute leather mini skirts into my wardrobe. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope it has given you some ideas also how you can add some of these trends into your capsule wardrobe. 
Make sure you do come and follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I will be incorporating some of these looks into my daily outfits. And as always, if you are new here and you've enjoyed this video, give it a little thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what videos you want to see next. And also your opinion on these trends too. And I will see you very soon. Bye.